Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV. Uh, NCC Resource. Oh, I forgot to go to the full screen. Well, you just seen my entire dashboard probably for the first time. I never actually left it open before. But, anyways, um, first cup race since the worst uh, NCC Resource Bristol race I've ever recorded at Bristol Dirt, which was a caution fest. We'll put that behind us and hopefully today will be much better. Anyways, starting pull is the 60 of Cody Forge. This is um, his first pull in quite a minute. Um, he'll be um, driving at number 60. Gold Peak Ford, and right next to him is Jacob Shingle. Um, a little bit interesting uh, qualifying positions for a lot of guys. This is really our second road course of the season. And a lot, it, it seems a lot different from Old Spice. You see a lot of guys that we're expecting to do well. They're fast in practice, but man, they just could not get the qualifying on it. And I think traffic position, almost like every road course, is going to be almost um, like it's going to be essential to finish well here. And um, that's really just going to be the name of the game. It's just where you start, you need to gain off that and finish where you need. Anyways, Jonah, uh, I got Jonah Burridge in the booth with me today. Any first thoughts? Yo. Um. Yeah, I believe um, Cody Forge will win at Portland, and hopefully he will have a clean race. Pro probably, probably in at probably the car. Probably, hopefully there will be no like wrecks on the first lap because last last year was the um was like kind of. Terrible for the drivers because they crashed during during the first lap or second. I don't know. Specifically, to name uh, out, German Chick 81 uh, had a really rough race here last year, starting just outside the top 10 today and is looking for a uh, good position in standings right now. So we'll keep an eye on that as the race goes on. It's going to be 15 laps. So that's what's going to be out there to be led, gain, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, anyways, mm -hmm. uh, yep. like we said, uh, Jacob Shangle starting second. He's been in, in winning and has position to win a couple races already. He's already in a spot right now. Maybe he can get another one, get, get his first one. I think this season will be where this season where he gets his first win. Now, right now, he's not been consistently up front, but he has been up front, and he's just needing to get that. Get, get that posi track position, and he's been slowly gaining and climbing standings, so we'll have to keep an eye on him. Joy Pants, the points leader. Starting mm -hmm. four. Looking to extend he, the points lead. No one, no one even want, wanted to catch up catch up to him because he's way... Because he had won two races at the Crown Jewel rent events. Yeah. Um, back to back wins. They're second in the standings where they're starting. Third in the standings, Bird right behind that. And then third in Lexi Gaming is fourth in the standings. So the points gap between the points leader and the rest of the field, if this finishes where it's right right now, which is very likely, road course, you know, same, you know, it usually goes. Um, Joy Paints could definitely get a big points lead here, and it could get very large um, after this race. Cody Forge, however, or whoever, you know, comes up front, takes this lead to lead the race, lead most laps. I mean, you know, this is projective. You know, you expect these things at road courses, you know, someone take the lead, lead the entire race, win the race. I expect that, but, you know, there could be curveballs in there. Could be a yellow. Could be a late race restart. Maybe someone tries to take a position. We'll have to keep an eye out for that, but we'll, uh, Really, just keep an eye on as the race yep. goes on. Pretty much, we almost at um the storm of the command, yeah, the command for the German statue engines. Yeah, that's gonna be at a five minutes in. It's about thirty seconds from now. Yeah, and uh, all of the Wood Rivers Racing Fords, well, most of them anyway, were fairly quick in practice and qualify. Consistency has been something they've been struggling at. Pretty much every season they've ran, but they're trying to get another win here. Or, or actually, I believe mm. that as a team, I don't think they've won a race yet. Yet. And let's start with the oh, yeah. command. Drivers, yeah. start your engines. And here's the um, 
Here's the gentlemen start your engines and they're revving it up and and there they go. Green flag. The pace cars end towards the pit lane as we're going on green at Portland. And here we go. And a green flag is out. Boogity boogity boogity. Let's go racing that Portland, boys. Yeah, this is just like on um, Indianapolis road course, but but way, but it's way, but it's really, really thin of the the road the road part. The um con is really um thin, just like um Indy road course, but it's way, it's way, and it's um bigger than um than. Indianapolis road course or shorter, I don't know. As Cody Forge leading the whole field for his team Wood Bros Racing. As he heading towards the final corner. And he completed lap one. Standings up. Yeah. Top ten is shaking up. As Cody Forge keeps his keep his distance from the sixty seven of um of Sean R in the sixty seven. This is the best yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's even bringing much in the top 10 of them super speedways. He's got a really good start, got a good thing going. Yeah. Got around Jacob Shango, and he got up to second and for SP1 Racing Park. Yeah. As, and what happened to the 77 of. Oh, wait, he's in fifth. Never mind. Um, Joy Paints actually only lost one spot on the start. What's that? Water Pen trying to take away the. Yeah, he was trying to pass the points leader. Seems like almost got around the 77 off the corner there. Yeah. They started seventh. They have gained one spot since the start. Wood Bros Racing hadn't had a, had a win since um season. Yeah, never had a single win. And fun fact, Wood Bros Racing slash um. Last time he won a race, it was in 2021 from the pole at North Carolina. Yeah. It, Wood Bros Racing is going to make his first win at Portland. At Hopefully. Right <laughs> yeah. They, Wood Bros is, um, D and, it used to be called D and Racing last year. But now they're called Wood Bros Racing. And they're doing really well. And hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll make it to the, one of them will make it to the championship. Yeah. Last year's arguably best driver of last year, Daniel Pauls Jr. And uh, someone who's been in the sport a while and needs something fresh, Cody Forge. Yeah. It's a series of that sport. Yeah. Reggie, you're not going to believe this. You know that five car Reggie Fogman started outside of the top 30? He's in 10th. Big, big jump in news for Richie Fogan. He started way outside of the top 30 and is currently running into it. That is a very good start to the race for him <laughs> after an expect, expected a very bad race. So he, he got a lot, a lot of guys in his day. Very smart with him. He knows he was one of those first cars to peak out on that start as well. 
Channel has fallen back to eighth from his second place starting position. Uh, unfortunate, uh, started very well. Don't count him out though. It's being glitching a little bit. Hopefully, they don't crash it. We'll keep an eye on that, nonetheless. And a lot of surprise. And then I think, you know, Bobby Isaac, he's been getting more consistent. Um, we'll keep an eye on him for sure. He's getting more and more consistent. Top 10s are his first top five, I believe, last race. At, uh, I believe the last four was last race. Keep going. I think last race was in Northwoods early. Yeah, I think he got a top five there. No? Yeah. Just outside of top 10, North Wilkesboro, he's been running up front a lot more. Could start to see him maybe start his own top 10 streak. He's seen some of the SCRS run very well. Kind of top 10 streak just ended last uh, race at Bristol Third. I'm back. We're on lap five already. Uh, yeah, we're already. And a pass yeah. for the lead. Oh, here we go. This is again. This is getting challenging. Was not expecting that. 67 might have an advantage, but the 60. We try to clear. clear the. No, could not clear. Oh. Still to get around, but the 60 67 slowing down. Oh, he looks like he's slowing down that in inside corner. Almost, almost. In the 67 is oh. Oh, oh, he's still not giving up. Cody. Oh. What a challenging pass. For the lead on lap six. It was not that was challenging. It was. Yeah, he definitely had Fury. He's moved very quick. Has not ran a single lap in the top five until this year. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. But, yeah. maybe, but like, it has not been up front at all. And it has passed the six. Oh, the six oh here back. we go again. He wants it He's back. trying to get it back for his team. Six, seven, and Sean's not the giving up there. without a fight. Oh my gosh, this may be the battle of the lifetime. Never seen a battle like this before. The 60, oh, the it seems like this thing is trying to go back in the inst. Trying to go to the inst. No. Oh, he's trying to bump him. Oh. These two very battling, battling very hard for that position as 67 got around. 67 and the 60 battling for the lead. One of the Sean never won a single race at Portland, and Cody never had a win since 2021. Hopefully, one of probably probably one of them will win this race at Portland. Probably, yeah. Last year, yeah. of Andy Carps. This year, he is teammates to that 67 time. Not running yeah. well today, but he's running. Yeah. 50 might have got some damage on the start from some pilots, but he's going to be able to design that run as well. Did, did anyone um, did something wrong at the um, back of the field? 51 may have gotten damage on the start. We'll have to look for the yeah. replay. replays and stuff. Yeah. So 90, 97 turning around for that spot there. That was uh, actually the 51 server laps down. Oh. Um, actually, the lap down. The exact, oh, lap down. Uh, the last Probably that was from the back bumper. Yeah, and then, so they, yeah, they had to repair that rear end. Unfortunately, they're, 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 they're yeah. really good, they need a good season right now. They're not having it. The nine last running car in the lead lap may have got some issues on that start as well. Just yeah, and that's, um, that's the nine of um, NASCAR Fireball 48. Yeah, he has not had a very idealistic season at all, but he's been trying. He's yeah. trying to recover. This is just not his season. You know, a lot of guys have a rough time just in the next gen. Is, looks like the 82 and gaming for oh. the, of the 48 around. Yeah. This is the 48 77 and 82 side by side for um, fourth, yep. fourth place. place. So yeah. I'm trying to get that spot back does not stick. Oh. The one is done really good at Portland. Yes, this is definitely the entire opposite of what they've done in the past races. I think they did fairly okay last race too, despite 
a lot of cars DNF and they were kind of best of the worst, I guess you could say, last race. But this this race, they're really showing what they got underneath that. Mm -hmm. uh, they were racing maybe they were and they're fresh off the NCCRS championship. They had a pretty decent season there. And, you know, they've been running consistently. You know, new team, new stuff, you know. And, you know, Brady Fogel yeah. being too pleased with performance. This is looking to be trying to get that stuff going. It's past the uh, race 11. Uh, Seems like the 67 is leading the way from the pack. Yeah, it looks like he is pulling away. He was faster than that uh, 60 mm -hmm. by a little bit. Um, you know, he was quick in NCCRS. I think he got two wins last season. Yeah. He just hasn't shown any, any anything prominent at all this season. And if he wins here today, he will automatically yeah. take the rookie of your points lead because no rookie yeah. has won yet this season. This is race 11 of 40, so... How many laps did he lead? Yeah, so far he's led, I think, listen, he's about to lead lap, his fifth lap of the race. Yeah. This time, it might be next And time. the 60 of um, Cody Forge trying to catch up to the 67 of Sean. As he's slowly, and he's, at, he's slowly trying to catch up by using draft. I think the 48 is quicker than he is. Yeah. It looks like the 71 and the um, 64 side by side for 7th. And the 121 and the 10th side by side at the back. 121 started about 19, currently uh, in a few spots. Oh, he's, he's trying to go look at the inside. <clears throat> we were talking about how Wood Brothers was looking for the first win. It's Sean R. man, yeah. stole that away. And they're leading. Yeah. They gained about a, about 12 tenths that time on Sean. We'll have to see how lap times, tire usage, all that factor in. It's going to be interesting to see. Leith Moore is still running top 20, so he's, you know, yeah. better than what he's been doing. Nice place of the race. I think I'll be moving on decently on his side now, where he's not dead last. Man. We'll have to see. No caution so far. That's the good news. 64 and 71 side, still side by side for 7. He's going to try to make a stick here. He got a much better run off that corner. Oh, 71, fishtailed in there. Let's yeah. See. Does, he, does, he, does he slide in? Does Bobby Ice. Nice? Oh. Bump. Look tap. Side. Side job. Makes that 71 no I want this spot. Yeah. These guys are not doing too great in points. Top 10 right now for each of them. Looking pretty good for both. Mm -hmm. They are. <clears throat> Bobby Isaac is still still got um still got speed in him when he was when he was still start, side by side with the 64. Yeah, he's he's holding off that uh, 64, but unfortunately that's causing the one to pull. Away. I mean, that feels, honestly, I think both these guys are really quicker than the 45. He was really quick in practice. 45, I think. I mean, Oh, there they go again. 64 trying to make it happen. Oh, yeah. 71 is still pulling off the 64. 67 still pulling away from the lead pack right now. He is definitely yeah. quicker. Let's pull the second on the 60. Oh, 64, man. Oh, almost. Oh, he's trying to. No. He wants that spot. We're coming with two to go next time by. 67 will lead the most laps here today. 67 so pulling so away good. from the pack. <clears throat> Look at him go. He has showed who's boss today. He definitely had the mm -hmm. faster car. Fast car doesn't always win the race. Still two laps to go. I thought the 60 would win at um, Portland. So but it seems like um, Sean is pulling away from Cody Forge. Yep, sure Looks like Cody seems like he's still not giving up for the win. He's, he's it, it, not the top five. Yeah. 
We lost the top five. Seven, we lost about a tenth there. Yeah, we got two to go. George Payne's fall back is still fifth. Still a great point. Yeah. Top five um update. We got Sean. Wait, is Sean? Sean Ard? Cody Forge. Not a weeb. The Gaming Freak. And Joy Paints. The Gaming Freak got to win Auto Club is a lot of consistency this season. They've been showing to be very quick. Yeah. As we're heading towards the final lap as the 67 keeps the lead as the 60 slowly catching up to him. That corner may be his, his shot, but, but the one problem is um he they're all on the final lap. 45 trying to get a spot there. The, fifth, the 60 gained about 5 tenths of a second there on that one, mm -hmm. on that one lap. They could, if they repeated it, they would be able to cut it down to about half of a second. I just don't think yeah. there's enough racetrack left off that 67s up their stuff. Maybe yeah. Big rookie mistake there. Let's we'll see. They may be able to hold it off. Yeah, that's 67. Oh, catching up. He seems like he's catching up. He's Maybe. The rookie. The rookie of the 67, Sean at Sean Ard. He may be using up what he has got, what all he has got, but the 60 is staying strong as they're coming to the final corner. 60 doesn't have enough speed to catch up the 67, and the 67, the rookie, who wanted the, a win from the Carlin Cup Series, and he got one at Portland International Raceway. Yep, Sean R. Started third, came home first, had the quickest car, showed his boss, did it clean, did it nice. Yeah. I used up their stuff to end, but uh, they still come out on top, and they will be the first rookie winner this season, 11 races in. Wait, who had the fastest lap on on Portland? We'll see. 82 of Real Game Freak. Oh. Lap it's quickest a lap. fast car. Sean Ard was just three Six. spots behind that. Yeah, Sean Ard win his first Carsland Cup Series win. The rookie who once who once be, who once dreamed of becoming a winner, and he got one at Portland. Yep, nice and clean. Can't complain about that. Mm -hmm. Very nice guy. SP one's first win of the season for that team. This expanded a three-car team after being one car last season and won two races and the points season points championship with uh, Seamany Box. Unfortunately, they've just not been able to find consistency. I don't think this is much of a consistency finder, but a big step in confidence as they've gotten their first one of the season. Jonah, any thoughts? Um, last thoughts before I call it good? Nope. All right. Well, for me... And, Bridge, wait, I got one. I got one. The next race we'll go at is um is at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Yes, next for the Charlotte Motor Speedway. I'm actually gonna do that race as a twenty percent to a little salute to my man Vince Freeze for helping yeah. us out, making everything good. As that is and then the after Middle Road Energy two hundred, so we'll yeah. salute to Vince and Freeze, make it a twenty percent instead of fifteen. Yeah. And after Charlotte, we'll go to the crown, another crown, crown jewel event at Zach One Hundred Three TV Four Hundred at Walkins Glen. And that will be a road course with pit stops, so it's going to be yeah. an interesting race. Last year, we seen EXO win that. Chef Squid Squid did very well there, and then we got a couple of road, a couple of super speedways, and then we're back to normal after that. Yeah, but, and we'll uh, see you. Uh, yep. Uh, as for me, Jonah, um, yeah. and um, um, thank you for watching this race, and uh, we'll see you next race. I think that was a pretty good race, but uh, we'll see you next race at Charlotte.